when you came to remove your recoil spring, if this happened, then there's no need to panic, because we can soon sort this as well. Hello and welcome. Removing a recoil spring can sometimes be a bit of a headache. If you try to tap it out, and then this happens, it uncoils everywhere, then it can be quite annoying. But the good news is, with the right technique, we can easily put this back together. Ok, so assuming that there's no damage to this recoil spring, and that it's ok to be refitted, then this is the technique that I always use. In some cases you might find out that there's been a mix up and you don't know which way the spring should fit back in. But a good way to find this out is to wind some rope onto the pulley, and then once the pulley's put in its place, there should be a straight line of rope through the eyelet, and then coming onto this side of the pulley, the most direct and quickest route onto the pulley. If the rope was wound onto the pulley the wrong way, then it would look like this. It would be going through a bend rather than a straight line. But when you've got it the right way, and then when you pull the rope out, the important thing here is to see which way the pulley rotates. And we can see this is clockwise. And so simply put, when it's all in situ inside the recoil housing, the recoil pulley sits on top of the recoil spring just like this. And then when the recoil cord is pulled, it of course unwinds the cord off the pulley and thus turns it. No surprise there, but as it turns, there's an opening in the pulley that allows the protruding area of the spring to fit into, and as the pulley turns, it turns the spring in this direction. The more the pulley turns, the more tension's being put on that spring. You can see that by the spring coils getting smaller and smaller as more tension is loaded onto them. And so spring steel, being of course spring steel, it has memory and it wants to go back to those larger coils again. So as soon as it's allowed to do so and I take the tension off the cord, then they will spring back to those larger coils. And that of course spins the pulley back the opposite way and pulls the cord back in. And so now we can get the picture of how this works. And so now we found out that the clockwise movement of the pulley will move the spring this way in the right direction. We can now start to refit the spring because we know from earlier that the groove in the pulley fits onto this area of the spring and pulls the spring into this direction, making those coils smaller. And so we know for definite it doesn't go this way where it makes those coils larger, because it's the spring action itself that springs back to those larger coils. It isn't moved that way by the pulley. So basically we need to get all of these coils back into this housing in this position. And so all I've done now is turn them upside down as they were and place them on the table. Then I take the housing and I place the first part of the spring in the special notch. And then holding this part in with my thumb, I bend the coil like this and put it in place at the wall of the housing. I then slide my thumb down to secure this part of the spring whilst I'm bending the next piece into place. And I just continue doing it with this technique all the way round until all of the coils are in place inside the housing. Then we can now start to put it back together. And so I hope this very very short quick tips video was helpful. And I'd like to personally thank you for watching this whole video through to the end. And if you do want to watch the full version of this video then the link should be just here at the side. And please do take a look down in the description below where I've got some links to my website for some free downloads. I've designed these to help with diagnostics, troubleshooting and repairs of two-stroke engines, mainly chainsaws. The best of it is they're printable so you can take them into the workshop with you and work at your own pace. There are some paid downloads but most of them are and will continue to be free. And I shall be continuing to add new free content here so please do keep your eyes on this side of the site. And in the meantime I shall be back soon. Thank you for watching. <laughs>